legitimacy if you shout and then when the choir stops singing you sit down your worship can't be choreographed and manipulated you you ought to be able to shout with music no music preacher or guest preacher I will bless the Lord everybody can praise him but not everybody can worship him if you comfortable in the outer court you gonna stay sick but if you need more from God your worship puts a mandate on heaven and I need somebody in this room who didn't come God help me cuz this the in church you came cuz I gotta be close to him if that's where you are come on out of that outer court come join me in the holy of holies where are my real worshipers who just want to be in the presence of El Eliyah? Where? Hey, hallelujah. Is that all you got? Where my inner court? I can't hear nobody. I need you to travail from your belly. I need you to cry out loud like I need God. Hallelujah. I can't hear nobody. I need you to worship him like he is the air you breathe. I need you to bless him like in him I move. In him I live. In him I have my very being. Hallelujah. I'm getting ready to go, but I need to find if I got any holy of holy worshipers. I got to separate the chair from the wheat with no music with no music can i just hear the cry of those who know how to worship him by yourself hey bless your holy name hallelujah hallelujah oh bless your holy name hey hallelujah i'm not shouting for money i'm not shouting for a job I'm not shouting for a house. I'm shouting because I want to feel his glory. I'm shouting because I need a fresh touch. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Hallelujah. You may be seated. I need you to trust me on this. Listen. I need you to trust me on this. Would you? Right where you are. I'm not done. I just got to show you something. If you'll secure your seats right where you are. I need to show you something. Could it be? He didn't answer. He didn't heal. He didn't deliver. Watch this. Because it was another's assignment. How much you take that neighbor by the hand? I want to show you something in route to communion. Jesus is omnipotent. Got all power. Watch this. He's omniscient. He knows everything. So when Jesus had occasion to go into the temple, yeah, he saw that man sitting there. Yes, he ignored him while he was begging. Pastor, why didn't Jesus heal him? Why didn't he respond? He didn't respond. He didn't heal him. Watch this. Because it was another's assignment. When we get to the book of Acts, I hope somebody's in your hand. When we get to the book of Acts, we're on the other side of Calvary. And Peter and John go to the temple at the hour of prayer. And here this same man is begging. And Peter says to him, silver and gold have I none. 
I'm anointed with no money. Make sure somebody's hand is in your hand. But such as I have, give I unto you. I want to show you this empowerment. And the Bible says, then they took him by the hand. I hope you've got somebody's hand in your hand. They took him by the hand and lifted him up. Pastor, I'm lost. Why did Jesus not heal him? Why did Jesus not answer the prayer? He didn't heal him. He didn't answer the prayer because he knew Peter and John needed an opportunity for their gift to be unleashed. God, y'all not talking back to me. If Jesus had healed them, Peter and John wouldn't have known they got healing power. Hallelujah. We get ready to go somewhere today. God told me to tell you, the person whose hand you hold that, there's a gift in them they don't even know they have. Hallelujah. I can't hear nobody. But when you shout everything God put in them, he's getting ready to find the opportunity for their gift to be unleashed. I can't hear no worshipers. I need you right where you are. Would you shout, here it is, for the gift you haven't even used yet. For the assignment you haven't even flowed in yet. Hallelujah. 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 Squeeze that neighbor's hand. You are anointed to lay hands on the sick. God, I can't hear nobody. Squeeze that neighbor's hand. You are anointed to cast out every demon. You are anointed to prophesy that better is getting ready to come. There is an anointing on your life. The devil didn't want you to know you have. But if you can hear my voice, your gift just got unleashed. You ought to shout in this room if you know God is allowing you to flow in the fivefold ministry gifts. You ought to shout for the prophetic on your life. Loose that neighbor's hand. Would you, from the best, from the depths of your heart, can you thank God, watch this, for the gift you're going to have exposed before this year is over? I can't hear no worshipers. I said, will you thank him for the gift you haven't even stepped into yet? You may be seated. And Jesus went a little bit further. Listen to me. And Jesus went a little bit further. And fell prostrate for the first time in his adult life. For the very first time, Jesus assumes the worship position. He prays and lays prostrate in front of his father. And watch what he says. He said, if possible, let this hour pass. I want to take isogetical license that when Jesus speaks, watch this, um, in the authenticity of this text, watch this, he is speaking in Greek. I'm going to take some isogetical license, I'm telling you, I'm taking it out of context, that when Jesus said, let this hour pass, he was saying this season. He's saying this chapter of my life. 
what I'm getting ready to say was not the original intention of the text Jesus was speaking in terms of seasons and chapters I'm going to speak to those of you who have ears to hear the spirit of the Lord is saying to the church the next hour will not pass I'm not talking about seasons I'm not talking about chapters I'm telling you in the next 60 minutes whatever been frustrating you is going to make sense to you God I can't hear nobody in the next hour he's going to help you understand in his permissive will why he allowed you to go through some stuff this ladies and gentlemen is going to be your greatest hour of revelation I can't hear nobody I want you to thank God right where you are for what God's going to show you before the next hour passes I can't hear you if you had any unresolved questions or issues with God you got to ask him Before this hour passes. You may be seated for the last time. And I, 1130 is getting ready to come. One of the most harrowing moments of my adult life was, um, was the death of my uh, maternal grandfather, Booker T. Williams. And um, I, I, I'll never forget, uh, I mean, I'll never forget, Ken Sheree, uh, it was hard uh, the morning of the funeral for my mother to get dressed. Never forget it. She's uh, sitting on the edge of the bed, frustrated on the way to granddad's funeral. God had uniquely anointed her to traffic in the supernatural. Giving her carte blanche cachet to travel around the world praying for people, laying hands on people. Seeing people delivered, healed, set free. And her own father never heard her preach. Her own father had never stepped foot in our family church would only get provisional release from the veterans hospital she's sitting on the edge of the bed trying to figure out god how'd you let me pray for other people god i can't hear nobody but when it was somebody intimate to me i saw no results it's taken years for me to get that picture out of my mind. And God gave me the revelation on Friday while I was praying about today. Says so sometimes I don't heal, I don't deliver, I don't set free. Because I don't want you to think you got the power. But I knew y'all weren't going to shout about that. Hallelujah. Sometimes I got to allow you to go through some stuff just to humble you. So you ain't got a case of a big head and think it's all about you. 